when it comes to making quality street wears like polo um t-shirt joggers hoodies you can trust that me day for it in this video i'm going to be sharing with you how i make this beautiful 18 color polo you can see is a pattern uh, material okay it's a pattern design okay so the customer sent the mop up to me so i have to draft it first on a paper before i went ahead to cut it so that i would not waste material okay and because it's a pattern you have to be precise first on the paper before you can go ahead you know to just cut it directly on the fabric so there are a lot of pattern joining and all in this um this particular design but it's all fun <laughs> the beauty of it is at the end of the day you bring out what the customer wants and they got and the customer loves it yeah what are you selling this christmas you know i said it in my last video what i what is your plan for this festive period we are going to the new year now what are the things i think we should start assessing ourselves no we are not saying i'm not saying that we should start putting pressure on ourselves we should not be saying oh i've not achieved this i've no no that's not what i'm saying but let's just try and sit down and look at it what are the things that we plan that we're going to do january that we've not been able to do what's what causes the hindrances you know um what are the things you plan to sell this festive period a lot of people are going are doing sales they are doing a lot of things they are venturing into their, biz their businesses they are launching their businesses but what are you doing eh are you still procrastinating yeah some of you you followed me all through this year you've learned one or two things have you been able to practice it you've some of you you've watched a lot of videos on youtube you've learned a lot of things you've registered for classes but up to now you've not even practiced for once you kept on giving one excuses or the other you've not gotten material you don't have money for this now you kept on you know making excuses please please i'm asking you again what are your plans we are going to be talking about this as we go on in this video okay so the sizes of the t-shirt that i'm making is ss large s large large and medium and i was done cutting all this yes the next thing to do i like to you know put it together like this so that i will not miss it together because this t-shirt is actually a pattern one so any mistake like this can i can just go and bring the one i supposed to put uh, blue i'll go and put black so it's better i just tie all all this um all, all the patterns you know separately so that it will be easy for me so the t-shirt also had um band at the uh, down part of the sleeve so if you are going into street wears i won't i'm not that type of person that will be telling you that oh you only need straight stitches i've seen someone saying it and she was like hey you only need your 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 straight stitch to do uh street wear see the best thing is to have an overlock whether the electric one or the manual one because that is what you can use to sew this material most of these material are stretchy material just see and cutting they are stretchy okay t-shirt material are stretchy material so you cannot use stretch stitch to to perfect it okay you need to overlock some parts you need to overlock some areas as a matter of fact 80 percent of um t-shirt making is or streetwear you use overlock to do it the remaining one maybe the joining of the down part or if you want like this one it has pattern of the um the i put um it has like a stripe uh, hair stripes on the at the front part of it so i will be needing straight stitch apart from that even to join the the sleeve to join the you know so many things or okay if i want to join the color i use the straight stitch the the placket in front so i will need straight stitch but apart from that you need overlock to do this so if you are going into street wears or you are planning of okay next year you want to learn how to make street wears and haul you need to invest you need to invest um some money on uh, buying industrial um overlock or 
you get the manual one either manual or electric both will work okay and i was done so you know this this took me about three days although i did nights for it <laughs> because it was almost like oh, you need to deliver <laughs> so i was done i wasn't working on it continuously for three days i have to I have to do some other things now <laughs> yeah but they came out so nice so the next thing to do is just to attach the the button in front yeah sometimes i usually take this button to people that do button you know there's a particular machine that does this button but i find a way of using you know the straight stitch to to do it and i realize that it usually come out so nice okay the only thing is i take more time but i just thought of it even taking it to where i usually take it to to even take even much more time so sometimes i just prefer if it's just like 20 pieces or it's not too much i just use my straight stitches to to do the 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 button hole and it's usually nice and perfect very nice and perfect okay so in case you need sweet uh, sweatshirt um color polo like this you need um any street wears, you know joggers please trust me i'm going to make something nice for you something nice look at how beautiful these polos are oh my goodness this is navy blue and white okay so then the color is also navy blue and this is s large i mean ss large yes it's very big it's actually big this one is i think i think this one is also ss large so they look so nice and beautiful in case you need please patronize me that's my number on the screen or you can just go to the description box below to chat me up to get your quality color polo street with every every <laughs> so i was asking you what are you selling this festive period what are your plans please decide on time decide on time don't let us take our business with lefty hand let's be serious nobody will do your business for you nobody will take decision for you you take it by yourself if anything has come to your mind that you wanted to do at the beginning of this year just try whether it work or it does not work you don't even know the one that is going to work try it you are planning of starting a shoe business and you have some money just start don't be scared i've heard a lot of people saying yeah they're afraid they don't know how to start they don't know how to do it just start does not you don't need to have a gigantic shop or have every other thing all together you don't even need to have all the machines all together in this whole world just figure out how you can go about it and start selling somebody registered for my tote bag class and you know immediately i think the second week she she told me something and i was so impressed she said she walked into a, a particular she saw one woman selling tote bag in a big market and she walked into that place and she decided to can i she told the woman that if she will be able to uh, supply the person tote bag and as god will have it the woman agreed and she supplied the first one she supplied was i think 36 the woman is ordering for more of it now so it's because she took a step if she did not go into that shop boldly to ask she will still be expecting her somebody will come somewhere to patronize her but she took that step of faith and entered the shop and the woman gave her the job at the end of the day at least she, she will have her profit and this is the end of the video i was done packaging this zip lock is very big please patronize me for this zip lock eh <laughs> yeah it's ready to deliver to the owner thank you for watching please don't forget to like share subscribe and comment i'll see you in my next one bye